Having briefly presented what in the last video, why widening participation and inclusion has become a concern within higher education, I can develop the following image that I'm sure we will be turning, re returning to during the course. There you go. Please note, this, may, this image may need to be adjusted during the course. However, it offers at least a first summary of which questions widening participation and inclusion in higher education address. The picture shows that widening participation and inclusion is, first of all, a structural issue. It is therefore about how we structurally create the conditions for more people to participate in higher education. Accordingly, widening participation strives towards making higher education institutions inclusive, open, and accessible for everyone, regardless of background. It often springs from the realization that access to knowledge and education is a democratic right. Second, the picture indicates that widening participation and inclusion is about the practical skills and attitudes that teachers acquire to enable teaching. Here, we need to strive for a willingness sometimes to adapt teaching so that everyone can, everyone can participate in it. For example, we can imagine a course that requires a certain physical performance that not everyone can do, perhaps going up a tower without a lift or diving to look at the sea life. But it is also about recognizing that a diversity of experiences makes demands on teaching. Teaching based entirely on certain ideals of normality is not always compatible with the reality we live in, which is not uniform, but multifaceted fragmented and ambiguous, ambiguous. Sometimes there is no way of getting around this. For example, it can be difficult to replace uh, so-called irreplaceable classic literature written by white men with alternative literature. At least there is an argument to be had that this is this is on that some uh, sometimes that's impossible. But the insights offered by striving towards widening participation are at least intended to problematize a too, a too unproblematic approach to this literature and other approaches, norms, institutionalized structures, and teaching materials that confirm and maintain certain ideals of normality. In the next video, I will discuss the reasons usually given to why we need widening participation and inclusion in higher education, as well as addressing some critical concerns that have been raised.